Find a seated position here and sit long and tall through your spine. Find your hands on your knees. We're gonna work with our breath here and warm up our neck and spine. So take a deep inhale. And on your exhale, round through your spine, cat position. Inhale, retract your shoulders, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale. Keep moving with your breath here. Take one more round of breath here. And then sit back tall and gently drop your head to the right. Like gravity, pull your head down. You can place your hand on your head for more of a stretch, but don't pull. Sit back tall and let's go over to the left side this time. Doing the same thing. Remember to breathe. Let's go back up to the top and we can cross our head over to the right, looking over our right shoulder and then over our left shoulder. And then just rocking your head across, swinging down through your chest. All right, now let's warm up our shoulders with some seated backstrokes. So just swing your arm back like you're backstroking in the water. We're just warming up our shoulders here. And then you can do both arms. Okay, now grab a towel. You wanna grab that towel at a wide grip and you're just gonna rock back with the towel, stretch through our back muscles and our shoulders. And just keep rocking back. We're awakening our posterior deltoid muscles and our retractors in our spine. So we're gonna set down the towel now. We're going to a high plank position. We're gonna drop down to our bellies, reach out in front of us, and we're gonna sweep around, keeping your hands in a hovered position all the way around until we get to our butt. And work the back muscles here and your posterior shoulder muscles. You can keep your feet elevated We're just gonna keep moving here. Okay, now let's rock over onto our left shoulder by putting your arm out and then over to the right. This can be difficult so if you want to do this standing up against a wall, that's an option. Okay, now we're going to take a wide hand stance here. We're going to push ourselves up lightly so that you don't feel any pinching in your back. But we're just stretching through our lower back here. And then we're going to drop back down and do it again. We're going for a stretch here. Now dropping back down, push yourself back up into a high plank. And then walk your feet up towards your hands until you're in a ragdoll position. You should have a good bend in the knees, head dropped down, arms, neck, everything relaxed. You can shake your head no, nod your head yes. Now bring your hands together behind your sacrum and clasp them together. Then reach your hands towards the sky, keeping them clasped, and wring out your shoulders. Relax your neck and your jaw. And just hold that. Now you can release your hands to the ground and just rock back and forth a little bit. 
Now let's go back into a seated position. Now bring your left hand to your right knee and swing your right arm back as far as comfortable for a seated twist. We're opening up here through our chest. And then we're going over to the other side. Right hand, left knee, left hand goes back. And then back over to the right. And then over to the left. We're going a few times here to both sides. Now going into a tabletop position here where your hips are stacked over your knees. You're going to walk your hands out in front of you. We're getting a really long stretch through our spine and our chest here. This is called puppy position. You look like a little puppy stretching. If you want to sit back into child's pose, you just sit back, moving your butt towards your heels, keeping the same stretch through your spine and your chest. Just breathe here. Three more seconds. Now we're gonna stand up and we're gonna kick our left leg back for a low lunge and then drop your knee. We're stretching through our left hip flexor right now. Make sure to tuck your tailbone and contract your core. We're stretching here in order to strengthen our hip flexors and stretch through them. Now you can go back up into a high lunge, switch into the opposite leg, so drop your right knee. Stretching through our right hip flexor, keep your core tight. Keep the stretch, keep breathing. Okay, now bring your left foot back to meet your right. We're creating a downward V shape. This is called downward dog with our body. Focus on lengthening through your spine. If you need to take a deep bend in your knees, that's okay. Now lift your right leg up for a three-legged dog and then swing your leg through, meeting your right knee to your right wrist. We're going into half pigeon here. Really stretching through our right hip here. If you want to drop down to your elbows, you can. However, if it's uncomfortable, you can stay up on your hands. As you breathe through this, try to stretch a little bit deeper. Okay, now you can work your way up, meeting your hands up by your hips. Go back up into a downward facing dog and swing your left leg this time through to meet your left wrist. And you can drop down onto your elbows if you'd like again. Okay, now we're going into a seated position here and then lay onto your back and bring your heels up so that your fingertips can lightly graze your heels. And we're going up into a bridge position. We're gonna do bridge poses here. We're breathing through. You wanna keep your knees together. Don't let your knees drop out to the sides. You should feel a strong contraction through your glutes and your hamstrings here for multiple rounds. You can go at your own pace. And then hold at the top and try to have your hands meet each other at the small of your back and walk your way onto your shoulders. It's a good place to stretch should still be feeling a contraction through your glutes 
and keeping your knees closer together than you think. Okay, now you can drop down and then sit back up against the wall or you can stand against the wall. You should have your both your lower and upper back up against the wall. Raise your hands up above your head. We're going to slide our arms down the wall, trying to keep all points of contact against the wall. And then back up. And then down. Keeping your shoulders retracted. Moving really slow here. Keep moving here. We're almost done. Your back and neck should feel nice and loose now. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please consider subscribing to Healthy Consistency, where I talk nutrition, exercise, and complex medical topics. Now let's look at what you shouldn't be doing. When you're sitting at your desk, don't be hunched over looking down at your screen because that's going to put a lot of tension through your neck and your back. You can use a pillow for lumbar support. In addition, you can put something underneath your computer or raise your monitor level when you're at work so that way you're not dropping your neck down while you're working.